What's up everybody, I'm Jesse Showalter and this is the start of a two-part mini-series where I'm gonna be designing a basic bookmarking application. Something you can clip things from the web, organize them how you want to, come back and read things later. In part one, we'll do the design work and in part two, we'll do all the prototyping work. We're gonna be covering things like toggle buttons and animations and smart animate inside of Adobe XD. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Let's do it. All right, let's dive right in. I have Adobe XD open and I have an artboard that's 1920 by 1080, kind of a standard desktop um, website kind of size. Let's just zoom in on it and see what we got. Okay, let's start laying a few things out. Um, this is gonna be like a bookmark web application. So this might be a good time to do kind of like a sidebar. Let's do a left-hand column sidebar like that. So um, let's do this. Let's zoom in a little bit on the top left-hand corner. Let's hit a rectangle and let's draw a rectangle out and let's do an avatar right there. I'm just gonna round the corners a little bit. Not a lot, just maybe four pixels. You can see that happening over here. So we got about four pixels. Our border is a little too dark, so I don't, I don't even know if we need a border right now, but what we are gonna do is open up our plugins. I'm gonna go down to UI faces and I'm gonna grab just, just apply randomly, okay? So UI faces, the plugin's gonna go out and get me uh, an avatar and bring it right back, no problem. Sure enough, we don't need a border, that's gonna kinda mess us up. And let's zoom out there a little bit, it's a bit big. So let's just drop the size of it down. So I'm gonna hit T for text, I'm gonna line that up. I'm gonna call this like uh, Julie, uh, how do you spell Julie? No, how about Christina um, Aborn, okay? So here's our friend Christina Aborn. Let's go back to our labels panel and, or excuse me, our layers panel. And let's take that, let's move this to something a little nicer. I'm gonna use pop-ins because it's still kind of working for me. It's still rocking. I'm gonna turn this to a, a kind of more of a black color and I'm gonna move up to maybe medium, okay? I'm gonna make sure it's lined up and maybe even a little bit more. I feel like I want maybe semi-bold, that's good. But this is at 20. So how about we move it down to like 16? Then we're gonna start building a little bit of a typographic scale here, and that's gonna be maybe a small headline or what we call like a mini headline. I think down below that, we should probably have something even a little bit smaller, like maybe 14. This is gonna be super rare that we use something like this because it's so small, uh, but we could do like Christina, Chris, Aborn at, I don't know, gmail.com or something, we'll do her email address right there. That's a little bit light, so let's move it up just a little bit. And that actually tells me we can move our subheadline up a little bit more, right? Because we want good balance between these, but we don't want one to overwhelm the other, okay? So I'm just kind of playing around with spacing right now. All right, let's call that our, uh, like kind of the top section. Now, we have to start addressing the spacing in between these elements. So we're about 53 from the top and 30, five or so from the side. So let's go 45 and 45 and just balance things. And then we're just playing by multiples of 10, 55 and 55, maybe 50 and 50. Okay, that gives us a little bit of space to work with. We do want the name and the email to be related to the image. So we wanna make sure that that makes sense, right? So we're gonna make sure it's a little bit closer there. And then why don't we take this text here and duplicate it. Just, maybe we should bring it up a little bit more. I'm thinking in our left-hand column, this is where we're gonna have all of the areas that uh, we can organize things in, um, like all of the different things we clip from the web. So how about we do something like, and let's take all of these and let's just use opacity to chill them out a little bit, okay? And we definitely want some sort of call to action, like a button, so let's do that right now. Let's hit rectangle and let's space this thing in the middle. I think we have like slightly rounded corners. What if we try a pill button here? Let's do a little pill action there and let's pick a fun color. What's gonna be like our accent color in this project? Maybe purple, I think purple could be fun, okay? So let's zoom in, let's paste text here. Um, and let's make it white and let's bring it way down because um, we, yep, up, up, something like that. 
And let's say new, new category, category, yikes, category, something like that. Okay, let's grab both of them and we'll center vertical, horizontal, just like that. Okay, and we'll group them together and we'll call this button. Okay, I'm gonna turn on the padding, like which basically allows me, uh, I believe that if I start typing, yeah, our button's gonna expand with it. And that's the reason I'm doing that is because I'm gonna take this element and press Command K or Control K, um, and I'm gonna make a, a component out of it, okay? So now we have our new category button right there. That looks pretty good. And maybe this whole thing can kinda go up just like that. We wanna make a little bit of space. Why? Because I'm thinking down here, maybe we can do our toggle. So let's do our shape. Let's start working on our right bar. So what we're gonna do is just take this text, copy and paste, and let's line it up with the top of our avatar there. And let's do the current category that we're in. So right now we're in recipes, and this could probably be a little bit bigger. We're just, we are so loosely playing with typography. We would have to be way more responsible in real life. I know it, you know it, but we're going fast and having fun, okay? And then to the right of it, uh, we wanna have a way to share. So why don't we do this and actually override, fill it with maybe, yeah, fill it with gray like that. That's the same color. That's what we need is this color that we're using there. Take the border off of it. And now we're going to, do we have any icon plugins? We could build our own little plus icon right now really easily, but let's do this one. Let's just go plus in our icons for design plugin. Let's just do a, a simple plus right there. Good, that was easy. Boom, drag that in. Whoa, whoa. Take the size of the stroke down make it white, excuse me, the stroke white, and drag it in there. And now we have like a little share icon, okay? Let's just balance those horizontally and vertically, just like so. And that is where you will share or invite more people to this board, I guess. Is that what maybe we're calling them? Let's call them boards. I think that'd be fine. Um, okay, now we're going to kind of like, uh, we probably need like, some sort of other call to action. Let's group that together. Let's make that a component, our little plus dealy right there. And I like the rounded kind of guy, so why don't we do an instance of that? Why don't we ungroup it? And why don't we make the background of it uh, our purple color? This will be like our main kind of call to action to add something to our board. Easy, done, right? All right, now that we have our main call to actions kind of set up, we just need to fill in the content for everything that's gonna go on here. So I'm thinking it'd be really, really fun to do a, inside of our right-hand bar, let's do um, a masonry grid. So I'm gonna hit R for rectangle. Um, actually, why don't we just do this? We'll steal our avatar, because she's already uh, rounded the corners, the border radiuses of those, the correct amount. So we'll just space her out like so. And why don't we do something like this? Cool, and now we're, we're seeing everything, right? So we definitely wanna see some things that are like blog posts, some things that are photos. So why don't we take something like this and this, this typography that we've been using and pop that in there, okay? So we'll put like recipe uh, of the day, and then why don't we take this guy and we'll move it from semi-bold down to regular, and we'll say the top 10 recipes of the day for you and your family, something like that, okay? And then we could even put like, uh, read blog below um, and we could shrink that guy down just like that and why don't we give it our accent color that could be fun 
We definitely, we could come back here and mess with these, but let's group these together. That looks pretty cool. We can do also uh, in Adobe XD, we can do a little bit of art direction. So we have our image inside of our rectangle. If I double click, I can kind of just choose where I want this ice cream to go. And then why don't we do another version of this rounded button? Um, we will ungroup the component and let's get rid of this plus but icon that's inside and let's make a play a play button out of this thing right so we'll just draw a nice rectangle and we will turn it on its side we'll round the corners and take off the border and with these little play buttons you have to visually balance them not mathematically balance them because it's a bit of an optical illusion but once we do that we can do maybe a play button up in the corner there that could be kind of cool it's a little bit big why don't we bring it down Okay, so that's kind of a that's kind of a general masonry grid we have going on there. We have most things that we need, um, and then why don't we really quickly? Why don't we design our our dark mode that we're going to have for it? So that being said, we're going to come into our left hand bar. Let's unlock, unlock. We're going to give our left hand bar like a pure black background. And then we're gonna give the one to the right of it an off black background. This allows us to come into our navigation items. We used opacity for our inactive states. So by just flipping it to white, these still kind of stand out. We can come to these ones over here and just flip their fill to be over to white. And same thing, we're just cranking things over to white so we get that contrast with a typography. Flip that over again, transparency being used there. Why don't we do our little active state thing right there and everything kind of pops out, no problem. We could even move our dark mode to saying dark mode like that. Now we want our toggle to switch over. So before we do our prototype in the next video, why don't we address our actual toggle button. This is the master. Let's create a new component state and we'll call this uh, dark mode. And when we're in that dark mode state, why don't we change the background to be purple and we'll take our little toggle switch and we'll toggle it right on over. Now we have default state and we have dark mode states. Well, that's it. That's part one of our bookmarking application in the bag. We have the design work done. We have some artboard set up and established so that in part two, we can start prototyping and bringing this thing to life. I can't wait to see it switch on and off from light mode to dark mode. I can't wait to navigate this thing and see some hover states for all of our friends that we're sharing it with. It's gonna be really, really cool. So make sure you join me back here for part two of building this bookmarking application. If you have any questions about anything I did in this video, leave them down in the comments. And if you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel and maybe hit that little bell notification icon so you know when part two actually comes out, as well as all of my other design and development content. I hope you guys are having an amazing week, designing amazing things, making amazing things, and having fun when you design. See you in the next one.